So, you've been wearing your Apple Watch wrong the whole time you've had one. Let me explain. So, here are two Apple Watches, a Series 6 and a Series 0 from 2015. Or an original Apple Watch, in other words. Now, other than their design and how this one's newer, this one's older, yada yada yada, and all their new features that has come out from the Series 0 to 6, which I'd spent a long time listing all of them, so we're not going to talk about that. We're going to talk about how this one is, well, flipped upside down, and this is normal. So, let's get rid of this one. Okay, so, my Series 6. Personal Series 6, I wear this one every day, I use it to work out, I use it sleep tracking, everything. So, it's upside down. Now, and you know it's upside down because, well, the digital crown is right here on the right side. Or, on this case, if I'm looking at it, my left. So, now, you might be saying, though, how have I been wearing my watch wrong? And, well, you just seem crazy, you're crazy. <laughs> so, first off, have you on the left side, having the digital crown and the button on the left side makes it so much more practical because your thumb is meant to interact with it, not really your pointer finger, because like, when you're using your, when you're normally using your Apple Watch, you're usually, if it's, if it's on my wrist, I'm usually using my pointer finger to interact with it and press the buttons and then like tap the screen, but with my, per with my Series 6, I'm using my thumb and it's so much more practical. Now, also, you leave Siri alone. I can't tell you the amount of times we've all accidentally activated Siri, whether we pushed it in because we go like this when we're doing something, or whatever it may be, and we push the button on accident. It's so nice to just not inter- or by accidentally activate Siri. Now also, as someone who is into fitness and just really like a health, like in health lately, I can't tell you the amount of times I've accidentally called 911 and emergency services because I'll be doing something and my wrist will be like this or my hand will be like this and then like my wrist is pushing into the side buttons and either taking screenshots or calling 911 because all you have to do is hold in the side button on an Apple Watch so if you just press and hold in the side button here it will call 911 for you that's a little crazy type thing and well not crazy, that's insane, actually, because I can't tell you the amount of times I've personally, I've done that a little too many times I'd let, than I'd like to admit. And going back to having, using your thumb to interact with it, it's so nice when you're going to control, like, media and you, or the volume, and you just press with your thumb right there, you scroll in and out, scroll out, find an app with your pointer finger, I don't know what app that is, and then you use, you use the watch with your pointer finger, and it's great because you're not, like, using your pointer finger. So, with media controls. Now, it's so much nicer to interact, actually, with your media controls when you're using your thumb to scroll on the digital crown, just up and down instead of your pointer finger, because, like, your pointer finger usually interacts with, like, your devices. So, like, on my iPhone, I mean, I mainly do use my thumbs, actually, on my iPhone, but, like, on a screen as small as my Apple Watch that isn't 6.7 inches like my iPhone, my thumb can only you do so much as I have to like position it right where's my pointer finger. I just and I open up my activity app right there because that's on my watch and it's so nice like that. But just using media controls when you would have to like swipe up, like swipe up on the digital crown for volume. So if you you have to scroll up to raise the volume, essentially. And that's a little weird. Whereas if you use your thumb, actually, it feels so much nicer. And it also seems like it was made for your thumb it, to scroll up and down. Which is why it's so cool, because, like, I adjust the volume almost a lot sometimes when I'm listening to music. Whether it's, oh, I got farther from where the speaker was or my iPhone. So then I just raise it. I literally just swipe up with my thumb. And it's so nice, because my thumb seems it was meant to press the buttons on the watch instead of, like, interact with my screen, which is why the thumb... I wouldn't say the thumb interacting is a good thing, because, like, using my thumb on my watch, that just seems weird and unpractical. Like, that's what my pointer finger does. It swipes, closes out my apps. Whereas before, my thumb was doing nothing. I would always press the digital crown on accident when I go like this, or even, as I said before, call emergency services. So, like, it's funny that Apple kind of doesn't do this by default, but, even if you're right-handed, you can actually switch it so your digital crown is away from you, which is so cool. So, I'm right-handed, I wear watches on my left, 
So I have my digital crown now facing towards my elbow, whereas before it usually faces my hand. And if you're left-handed and wear watches on your right, by default it is actually facing towards your palm as well. So you can flip it to be facing towards your elbow. And then you can, again, use your thumb to interact with it, and it seems so much nicer to interact again with it with your thumb, with physical pressing the buttons, than, like, swiping on screens and using your pointer finger for, like, everything, because, like, pressing from pressing buttons and then scrolling, it's kind of weird. And also, all the accidental, like, commands you do, because, like, sometimes when I'm driving, even before I flipped it, I would by accidentally like activate Siri or like activate like the power off menu and then like I would adjust my wrist because I know what would be coming was me calling emergency services because I've done that a little too much. And like even when I work out now, it's so nice that I don't have to worry about like buttons jamming into my wrist or like riding like a bike or something and like, oh dang, I just called emergency or SOS and I don't need them. Like there was no reason for me to call them because Sometimes, over the loud music, or whatever, or just like, sometimes, you can't hear that you called them, so it's, you don't know. So, you might think I'm crazy, if you think I'm crazy, don't switch it, but just try it out and switch it. And, well, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.